My name is Chris Stark, and this summer, I'm reliving the 2006 World Cup all over again. An adventure football dreams are made of. Joined by my mate Ben and his camera, can I finally find the missing footballers and complete this sticker book? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Here we go. Oh. Hey, I'm Chris. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for letting us come along and see you. Is this your office? Yeah, my office. You got some bills to pay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A World Cup champion have to pay the the bills. The bills. <laughs> the bills. <laughs> It's a lesson you learn, yeah. right? It's the life. <laughs> Thank you, Simone. Thank you, Simone. Yeah. yeah. That's what you want when you leave a job or school, whatever it is. Not a voucher. Not a voucher, no. At Radio 1, it's embarrassing. <laughs> no. we, we all throw some money in a brown envelope and someone gets a rubbish present. Uh, uh, no, it's no. Always, <laughs> it's always awful. Nothing's rubbish. You should have seen what we gave Sarah Cox. Oh, look at this, yeah. football stickers. Yeah, my, my son's stickers. Were you ever a shiny? A shiny? Yeah. What is shiny? Sh these are ah, shiny, these yeah. ones. Always totty. Oh, really? Everyone uh, talks about totty. totty. Yeah. <laughs> Annoying. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Just working out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Italians do the best coffee, right? <laughs> Daffy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> OK, fine. That's fine, I'm English. The authentic Italian experience going on right now. Simone Perotta. Is that how you say it in Italian? Simone Perotta. Simone Perotta. Simone Perotta, sì. Apart from 1966, you are the nearest Englishman to win a World Cup because you were born in England. Yeah. Sì, sono l'ultimo inglese ad aver vinto la, la Coppa del Mondo. E questa è una grande soddisfazione. Anche se mentre giocavo a questo non ci pensavo onestamente. E il fatto che loro abbiano, eh, in Inghilterra, l'Ashton and the Lion, abbiano comunque lasciato qualcosa di tangibile lì facendo la statua, è una cosa che a me mi rende enormemente eh, soddisfatto ed orgoglioso di essere nato in Inghilterra. This is a World Cup. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> do you get this if you win? Do they give you yeah. one of these? Yeah. Do they? Oh wow! This this is this is probably the greatest <laughs> moment of my life. Final shit. This is a medal. C can I possibly wear it? Yeah. Oh my goodness! Thank you. Well, this is happening. <laughs> When you won this medal, yeah. do you ever go out and it gets you... Does it get you a discount in restaurants? For, for, with this? Yeah, food no. is cheaper if you no. show them that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> and these are all your shirts? Yeah, it's a, a little bit. It's a bit like bit. JD Sports. Is this from swapping? Yeah. Hargreaves. Hargreaves, yeah. This is part of my life, a little part. And you were on the bench also for uh, the Matarazzi Zidane Headbutt. Yeah. Io ero in panchina e credo che, che l'abbia vista solo Gigi Buffon che era in, in direzione di, di Materazzi e di, e di Zidane. È stata la prima, la prima volta che in una manifestazione ufficiale ci fu l'uso della VAR perché in realtà nemmeno l'arbitro e i guardalini avevano visto nulla. L'aveva visto il quarto uomo nel replay del, sul monitor e quindi non ho visto niente, l'abbiamo visto poi a fine partita. Perché quando è successo noi in panchina siamo andati dal quarto uomo per, e indicavamo il monitor per rivederla, perché pensavamo che fosse successo qualcosa di brutto, perché eh, Marco era a terra, eh, Buffon che indicava comunque, che eh, indicava al guardalino che era successo qualcosa di, di importante e, e noi pensavamo fosse successo qualcosa di importante. Quindi indicavamo il quarto uomo di rivedere il monitor. L'arbitro ha aspettato che il quarto uomo gli dicesse che effettivamente gli aveva dato la testata, ma nessuno si era accorto di nulla. Do you still play football? Yeah, sometimes, with my friends. In your garden? No, <laughs> it's a little peach. <laughs> so you do big barbecues big party, and then yeah, you get some yeah. of your old teammates to play football? Yeah, and... sometimes, yeah. Isn't that incredible <laughs> that you could have... Why is Kennedy Ball? Well, it's incredible because, because everyone does this all over the UK, all over Europe. Everyone has little house parties yeah. and they have a kick around in their garden. Okay. 
But what they don't have a kick around with is a World Cup winning no. team. We are men. That's we are why simple it's men. You, know? you can't do as much diving in diving? garden football. We no, are. No. Yeah. <laughs> there for diving. <laughs> there for football. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that to an Italian. No, no, I don't think. <laughs> I don't have any ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Oh, 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 oh jeez. Oh, oh. Don't put, don't put cut, that in. Cut. <laughs> Simone, do you mind setting me up? Send me through. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the Zidane headbutt. It's been turned into a statue. But See, then you've got a statue in Manchester. Yeah. Which is more ridiculous? Allora, la, credo che sia imbarazzante e ridicolo il fatto che ci sia una, sta, una statua di Zidane, nel senso che eh, vai a enfatizzare un, un episodio brutto, no? Sono cose, io credo che bisognerebbe dare l'esempio alle giovani generazioni, no? E ricordare sempre quella questione e come non eh, mettere in risalto la vittoria dell'Italia e enfatizzare l'effetto negativo di quella partita. Il fatto che io abbia una statua eh, è una cosa che onestamente eh, è strano per me, eh, è strano ma ho visto che comunque ci sono statue davanti a quasi tutti gli stati inglesi, ci sono statue di, di, di giocatori, di ex calciatori. Ok. If you're keen, we've got you this. Ok. For old time's sake. Ah. But it's not the original. <laughs> <laughs> He's raised a good point, yeah. You've got do you want there? to take a photo with the original? The original yeah, one, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yes, yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to tell the lads this. If you're a smiler, go for that. I think you are. Let's get the medal in as well. It's a pleasure meeting you. It's a pleasure for me. Thank you so much. Okay. World Cup hero, everyone. Thank you.